Hello, my name is Kosia Konverska and I'm a developer for Property and Statistics. I'm going to present uh, some of the new features we added for version 11. My talk has four parts. So version 11 adds numerous improvements and extensions throughout probability and statistics functionalities, including newly improved hypothesis tests, performance improvements for descriptive statistics and derived and formula distributions, and new and improved random processes support, including parameter estimation, inhomogeneous Poisson process and random point sampling. Version 11 now provides a bearing house, hence the EPS pulley test, which is a test for multivariate normality. So you can create a sample from the multi-normal distribution. And then use the batting house as a test to create hypothesis test data. Extract p-value or extract the test data table that has the value of the statistics as well as the p-value. The test statistics is invariant under affine transformations of the data. A random point allows to sample points over a given region. We can, for example, sample over a convex polygon. Uh, we can sample points over an implicit region. And we can also sample over a country polygon. There is a new process in version 11, which is inhomogeneous Poisson process. This is a Poisson process with a time varying rate. And the probability density function of the process slice at any time t is Poisson distributed. We can simulate the path of the inhomogeneous Poisson process and plot it. Also, version 11 supports the estimation of continuous time random processes over irregularly sampled data. Here we have an example of time series of the stock prices. We can check that uh, the timestamps of the stock price data are not uniform, and then assume that the log price follows a fractional Brownian motion process and estimate the parameters using estimated process. Version 11 adds improvements to time series processing throughout the framework. The time series objects are now produced and accepted by many functions in the system. We have better date and quality support in time series. It is possible to directly apply functions to time series and perform arithmetic. Also, a version 11 adds better support for irregularly sampled time series and finer control for mapping using moving windows over time series. Direct arithmetic, here we have example of two time series of stock prices. We can simply add them and plot the sum. Can calculate the ratio of two time series directly. And we can also directly apply a function to one of these time series. Um, can smooth and thin the time series of daily stock prices using the moving map. We use the moving map with median to compute the moving median. You can see that the data has been smoothed. You can compute the moving, uh, the three month moving median in increments of one month. And comparing the path lengths for each outcomes and the data, we see that when we calculate the moving median in increments of one month, the data is not only smooth but also thin. And compare the results. Also, we can compute the three month moving median in increments of one month, placing the windows on the specific date. So let's do it for the first of each month. And you see that the first full three months window on the first of the month occurs only in May, since this time series is one observation shorter than the previous one. You can see that the values are different than the, from the other output because the, there are different windows. And then we can plot the data against this smoothing. Version 11 supports quantities across the probability and statistics functionality. We have support for quantities in descriptive statistics and visualizations, and support for data with units in param parametric and non-parametric models, and we can compute probability and expectations of quantities. There is a new uh, object called quantity distribution that allows us to store the distribution of the magnitudes and the units of quantities. It is possible to extract quantity magnitude and quantity unit just like for the quantity. 
also we can convert quantity distribution to a distribution in new units using unit convert and find the expectations and can simulate from quantity distribution. A single simulation it's a quantity and the vector of simulations is given as a quantity array and we can look at the PDF using histogram. The quantities can also be input into the parametric distribution as the parameters if they make sense. So in this situation we uh, define my normal distribution with means and standard deviations giving in meters and kilograms for each component and the correlation coefficient is unitless. And if this input makes sense then it's going to be automatically converted to quantity distribution. Can with this quantity distribution compute probability we can also compute the distribution of the body mass index using transform distribution, calculate the mean, and also simulate and study the PDF. And for estimation, we have a look at the example of the weather data, and you can see the, the values on the histogram. You can extract the values and interpolate the missing values and then find the parametric estimate with estimated distribution and also find a non-parametric estimate using smooth kernel distribution and then compare the estimates against the histogram. Version 11 introduces support for random matrices, can generate matrix variate, estimate the properties and compute the limiting distributions. Uh, we have uh, Gaussian ensembles, circular ensembles, Wishart and inverse Wishart matrix distributions, matrix normal and T distributions, and also limiting distributions of eigenvalues, which include Wigner semicircle, Tracy Widom, and Marchenko Pastor distributions. The circular ensembles are families of unitary matrices with distributions that are invariant under different unitary transformations. In version 11, we have three. Uh, ensembles, circular real, unitary and orthogonal matrix distribution. The matrices from circular real ensemble can act as rotation operators for vectors. So you can sample um, a thousand of such matrices and then create a random rotations of a vector 0, 0, 1. Check that all the points are lying on the sphere and then just plot them. The Gaussian ensembles are families of normally distributed random matrices with distributions that are invariant under different unitary transformations. We have three such ensembles, Gaussian orthogonal, unitary and symplectic matrix distribution. Matrix elements of a Gaussian orthogonal ensemble follow a mixture of two normal distributions. So I create a sample of matrix elements from Gaussian orthogonal matrix distribution, create a model which is a mixture of two normals, estimate and then compare to the PDF. Matrix property distribution, um, it's a new function that provides a convenient access to compute and sample the distributions of the properties of matrix distributions. For example, we can find distribution of the determinant for two by two matrices from Gaussian orthogonal ensemble. So we define the distribution of a determinant using matrix property distribution, generate a sample, and visualize using histogram. Also, we could estimate the spectral density for Gaussian unitary ensemble. So define the distribution for the spectrum and then plot the histogram. Tracy Widom distribution is the limiting distribution of the scaled largest eigenvalue of a random, mat random matrix belonging to a Gaussian ensemble. Um, there are three classes of Tracy Widom distribution. Let's define the scaling function, eigenvalue distribution using matrix property distribution, generate a sample for the dimension 250, and then plot the histogram against the PDF of Tracy Widom distribution. Marchenko Pastor distribution is the limiting distribution of the eigenvalues of a Wishart matrix, as the matrix dimension and the number of degrees of freedom satisfy certain conditions. So here we have defined the, the degrees of freedom and the dimensionality and create a distribution with the matrix property distribution, simulate eigenvalues from such a matrix, and then compare the histogram to the PDF of Marchenko-Pastor distribution. Thank you for your attention.